Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jesse. Welcome to JR Videos. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the Fear the Walking Dead intro. And it's going to look something like this. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is make a new composition. Call this Fear the Walking Dead. Which is a great show, by the way. I'm guessing if you make this video, I'm guessing you've already seen it. 1920 by 1080, 29 is fine. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is drag this stuff in. Put the background in the back. We want the screen to be in the front. Free the Walking Dead to be above the crumpled wall. So we're gonna set this we're going to set the screen to overlay. No, I'm sorry. Add. So we're going to set the screen to add. We are going to set the track mat of the crumple wall to Fear the Walking Dead alpha mat. So what's that's so what that is going to do is put this crumpled wall behind the text. Alpha mats are very useful. And they also look very good. So the next thing we're going to do is make the crumpled wall a little smaller so it looks a little more detailed. Moving around, just make it look good. Okay, so the second thing we're going to do is add some effects to it to make it go from white to this crumpled or this cracked look. So the first thing we're going to add is exposure uh, under color correction. So we'll just drag that on the crumpled wall. Uh, let's open this up so we can edit this. So we're going to start it off at about 10 about exposure. So it's going to give that, that white look that it has in the actual video. We're going to set the offset to about negative 0.6 if I can remember right. And the gamma correction is about 10. We might have to adjust those later. So let's make a keyframe pretty close to the beginning for the exposure. So the exposure is going to go down and it's going to looks like it's going to crack. So let's put it down to about eh, too much. About that. Don't want that color in there either, so let's work with these. Okay, so set the offset to about negative 0.21. Looks pretty good. Okay, so that's looking good. The next thing we're going to add is from a plugin called Universe. It's called Texturize. Uh, you can get it online for free. I'll put the link in the description. It's a great plugin that works with everything. I use it for a lot of things. So we're gonna slap that in. Uh, we're gonna adjust some things. We don't want it, when we want it to start off, we want the opacity to be zero. Let's put that to zero. Make a keyframe for that. Go to like, let's make this a little bigger. 16 frames or something. Put that at a hundred. Um, let's see what else we have to change. We're gonna want the tint strength to go from zero to a hundred also. So it's gonna give it that yellowish orangish look that it has in the actual video. Uh, multiplies fine, and so let's see what that's looking like. Okay, also we want the yellow to come up from the side, the bottom side, right side. So that is under mask. Okay, we want to put the center. Uh, if we go up here, we can select this and we'll put the center down here. Oh, sorry, we're gonna put the center up here. That's gonna be the white part, the most white part. Okay, and then we want the fall off to start at zero. 
set that to zero. We want that to go up as the thing goes on. So it looks like it's taking over the Fear the Walking Dead. So it's looking pretty good. Maybe have this come in a little faster. You can judge that for yourselves. So it's looking like it's cracking. We might want a little more cracking. So let's go back up to the exposure. Set this a little higher. Or sorry, lower. Okay, so we got a little more crack in it. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do is add block dissolve. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna dissolve the text after you crack it all up. So let's add block dissolve. It's under transition. So we're gonna add that. Uh, we want that to start about at about right there. So let's start the transition, make it last for a little bit, go to 100, and it's gone. But that doesn't look very good, so let's change a couple settings. Uh, block width, let's set that at four. Uh, let's set the feather to 14 so it doesn't look as blocky. Okay, so that's looking a little better, more like the actual intro. Okay, so now it's crack. It's looking like it's cracking right now. Let's set this back a little bit so we can see a little bit more of it. Okay, it's cracking and getting worse. Okay, so the final thing we have to do is make it actually crack. So what we're going to do is add the shatter effect under simulation. We're not gonna add it to the crumpled wall, we're gonna add it to the actual text. So let's add that. Uh, for the view, let's go rendered so we can see it. As you can see, it totally messed up our animation already. So let's go to shape, change it from bricks to glass, uh, make the repetitions about 100 something. Whatever you think looks good. I'm sure that's the best. Okay, so let's change the force of this. Uh, let's set the radius. Oh, sorry. Let's set the radius down to zero at the beginning. Okay. Let's open this up. Okay, so we want it to crumple about right there okay set the keyframe for this radius and the strength let's set the strength down to zero at the beginning then at the end we're gonna have it to be about 0.3 if I remember right the radius will get bigger as it goes so set that up a little higher As you can see, it just moved it down a little bit. So the next thing we have to do is mess with the physics. We can mess with the physics of everything. The we're gonna add put these things to zero pretty much. Gravity zero. Okay. So it's not really shattering right now. See if we can fix that. Go into force again. Um, let's make it a little stronger. It's looking better. Let's see what that looks like. So this looks good, but we want the cracking to come from the bottom right to go up farther. So we're gonna set the position of it down to here. So it comes from here. Okay, so now it's cracking from the bottom right and going up, as you can see. So that's what it kind of looks in, like in the video. Thinking if we have to do anything else here. Let's make more repetitions of the pieces. I think it looks a little better when you do that. 
a little more realistic. So that looks pretty good. Send it at half, it'll run around faster. And that looks pretty close to what they have in the actual video. Okay guys, so there's a couple more things we have to do. Uh, we want the text to come at us a little bit, like in the video, and also we want the screen to come at us too. So what we're going to do is parent both of these to the crumbled wall. And then we're going to set the transforms. I'm going to start it at the beginning, so we'll scale it down a little bit. We're going to have to scale up the... Uh, we're going to have to scale up the transparent layer here so it covers the whole screen. Okay, so let's set the scale down to about 65. We'll set the keyframe, go to the end of it, and we'll set the keyframe to be about 84. So that's looking pretty good. And there you have it, the Fear the Walking Dead intro tutorial. Hey guys, thanks for watching the first of the TV tutorials series. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be trying to come out with a new TV tutorial every Saturday. And also a 10 things video every Wednesday. So look forward to those.